Happy Boxing Day, everybody, and Tony here with a review of an album I've been really wanting to talk about for quite some time. It's been part of my tradition listening to this album growing up throughout the holidays, and it's coming from a singer I really admired ever since I was a kid, and I still pretty much admire her to this very day. I'm, of course, referring to Charlotte Church, Dream a Dream, which was released back on October 17th, 2000. Now, I've admired Charlotte Church when I first heard her when I was only nine years old. I didn't know about her ever since, but one of my aunties introduced me to her, and I even saw her on the Disney Channel when I was nine, and when I saw her holiday album, Dream a Dream, that we had to listen to in music class when I was a third grader, I was totally, totally enthralled by her voice. I was automatically a fan of Charlotte Church to the point where I bought not only her first album, but also her second, her third, and even her fourth album, and eventually her best of album. So one can really tell that Charlotte Church was part of my childhood growing up. And with this holiday album, I really have to say that it absolutely cements the fact that I really enjoyed listening to her throughout the holidays. So in terms of this album, we start off with an original composition, but was based off of Gabriel Fauré's Pavan, which is the aforementioned Dream a Dream, in which she has a duet with the young country singer Billy Gilman. I really do like this song, and it's definitely something that is really gorgeous and really thrilling and something I very much enjoy listening to. The rest of the songs include a lot of Christmas songs, including O Come All Ye Faithful, The Little Drummer Boy, The First Noel, Mary's Boy Child, Ding Dong Mary Lee on High, and many, many others, including Ave Maria. And even in the international version, we even get to hear Charlotte Church sing in German with the likes of O Tannenbaum and Stille Nacht, sung in its original German. I will have to say that in the international album where she sang O Tannenbaum and Stille Nacht, I have to say that her German was actually quite good. I just wish that she could have sung a lot more in German as well, because it probably would have shown how fluent she can sing in different languages. Of course, it may not be the easiest language to sing, but I really have to hand it to her for really branching into that. Yeah, we mostly get to hear Charlotte sing not just in English, but also in Welsh, in Latin, in Italian, and in French, but rarely do we ever get to hear her sing in German, so it was definitely a, a huge treat. I, bas I basically listened to the international version on Spotify, but the version I had physically, which is all the way in Cebu, Philippines right now, is the one that did not have O Tannenbaum and the one that did not have her singing Silent Night in German. But it's safe to say that no matter what version you choose, you'll definitely have a great kick in just listening to how wonderful she is as a singer. And yes, she may not have the more mature quality of the likes of more experienced singers like Kiri Takanawa or Joan Sutherland or Angela Georgiou or many, many others. But as she is as a singer, I felt like she has a certain charm and likability and a certain sweetness that she had when she was still very young. And looking at her now, she's now branching out into making out her own music and being more of an independent music singer as well. So in terms of the al in terms of this album, I really have to say that it does leave a really great nostalgic feeling in my heart and I really have to say that this has definitely been quite the journey I've been having with this album for many many years. And with that said, I give Charlotte Church Dream a Dream a well-deserved 4.5 out of 5 stars. It is definitely 
worth the listen to, especially if you're a huge fan of Charlotte Church, and especially if you really want to relive those years where she was a young classical singer. Well, that's it for this review. Be sure to tune in later where I review Haley Westenra's holiday album, Winter Magic. So stay tuned for that.